What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Prop Wiz. I'm your host, The Wiz. Today, I got a special guest host, man, one of my favorite people in the world, my homie, Will Jackson, a.k.a. Jackson, a.k.a. Jackson, a.k.a. the light-skinned wonder himself right here. Am I right? Did I mess up yes, anything? Yes, sir. That's me. Jackson. Where you see how he corrected me? I corrected him. <laughs> Yo, so here today we're doing a, a, a top 10 superhero film list. Am I saying that right? Top 10 superhero movies of all time, in our opinion, from our perspective. Anyway, and we're going to break it down. The way we got it, it's actually, it might be a list of 20 because I'm going to do my top 10. He's going to do his top 10. We'll see if any uh, are, are similar. But speak, uh, speak on the criteria of how we, because some people might look at this and go, nah, that's not the greatest. That's true. You know what? We'll talk about that. My criteria right from the jump was how many times I watched it. So my favorite film, because there's some films I put up there on a pedestal just as being phenomenal great movies you can tell that it's well done it changed the world it is what it is but what movie do i put on over and over again if i was to walk out of here right now and want to watch a superhero movie what top 10 movies would make the list yeah that, I, I i agree with that i go with the same thing it's more mine was driven like a lot of emotional like mm. you know what i enjoyed watching and some right. of my stuff is from back in the day so it's like this is what i got into this is what i watched so right a lot of mine is based off of stuff like that and, exactly you know which is the same thing because some of it's driven exactly. by nostalgia anyway yep. you know what i'm saying how to make me feel at that time exactly with that being said We'll jump into the list at number 10. Who you want? You want first? You go ahead. You want me to go, go first? Yeah, go look, ahead. Look, I got my list written down. I'm going to look. Dude, I got like 33 names on this list. So I'm still cutting it down even as we speak. I got mine on the cell phone. <laughs> Listen, my number 10 is Iron Man, the very first Iron Man movie. Okay, my number 10 is Thor Ragnarok. <sighs> Golly, Thor ain't even on my list. That's a good one. I had to add it, man. That's I a just good one. Really Entertainment, it. right? Yeah, the music, the the colors, mm. everything. The whole story was just really the last time we get a Hulk. That version of the Hulk too. Is that man. in the correct order? That that's the, my last I, memory of getting that, yeah, that version I thought of. About that, yo. Yeah, yeah. He was talking a little yeah. bit, but he was still but he was like savage Hulk. Hulk. Talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if you remember from the cartoon now. He got injected so he could understand him. Right. Yeah, so right, maybe. Right, right. Oh, yeah, from the actual, was that the- Yeah, uh, remember when they caught him when he first yeah, crashed the planet on the Hulk planet? Joint. Yeah, yeah. And they put, they did something or they right, put right, something right, right. or something. Yeah, man, yeah. that's true. So I wonder, maybe, did we miss that? Dude, I don't know. Ragnarok was dope, man. In fact, yeah. it made the disappointment of the next one. I wanted to, like, same director- it was too much humor. It, it was different. I still, yeah, I enjoyed it for what it was, but Ragnarok was everything. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, good one. All right, number nine. You start with your number nine. All right, my number nine is Deadpool. Deadpool, first. extremely enjoyable movie. Same exact thing. So you're hitting us with the entertainment, I feel like, mm -hmm. first. These are the things that make you laugh. The, you know what? These are just the movies, like you said. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I was going to go pop in one. What's the likelihood? It's probably going right, to be one of these. Right, right. I tell you what. I got Deadpool as my number eight. Mm -hmm. I'm about to cheat on y'all. I'm going to change that. We'll explain it to when, when we get to the, <laughs> to the number eight. Cool. What would I say? With my number nine? Oh, my number nine is The Batman. Matt Reeves, The Batman. Uh, again, it's just something that I watch over and over again. My daughter, Trinity, she actually makes fun of me. She thinks that, I don't know if you guys know, The Batman was the most streamed uh, movie on TV, I, I think, 2022. Yep. I did not know that. We were watching the news. That information popped up, and Trinity looked at me and was like, you know that was you, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know what the number was, but you know that was you, right? Dude, I had it on because I make beats. I'm in the studio. I'm doing yeah. the editing. Dude, I had it on because the music was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I just enjoyed the 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 music. The uh, it was a little bit different th than than the other Batman movies, but that's why I enjoyed it too. Like this yeah. is one of those things too. I don't have to diss the other ones. Yeah, yeah. I love the other ones. Oh yeah. I don't want you to redo what Christian Bell did. I don't want you to redo yeah. what Tim Burton did. Give me something different because you can't out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They the king of that 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 element. So appreciate it. Dope. My number nine. All right, my number eight was Iron Man. Mm, oops. So he's on the list. It's gotta be. It's the first. Man, I 
I can't, you know, it's for me in this mm-hmm. moment, like Iron Man is, is one of them videos that tend yeah. to stay on my iPad. Yeah, and it's yeah. Just one I can yeah. watch before yeah. it starts getting into, you know, it's the it's the origin story. For right, me. right. I agree. And same kind of thing, entertainment factor it had humor, action, mm-hmm. um, and it had heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trial so and those error. That's it, yo. Those are the elements to me that makes yep. a movie enjoyable. It started with me with True True Lies. Mm-hmm. It was the first movie I seen like that that had all those elements. But, yo, my number eight, as I said, was originally Deadpool, but I'm going to go with Deadpool 2. <laughs> I watched Deadpool 2 as much as I watched Deadpool 1. Um, in fact, I got, have you seen the, uh, the clean version? Mm-mm. The cut... They got a version, and it has uh, Fred Savage from, uh, what's the show he used to play on? Uh, Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World. No, 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 no. No, he was on The Wonder Years. But you know what? Oh, yeah, yeah, went, that's right. That's right, yeah. But it wasn't from that. I think that. he on a new, oh, no, no, he ain't. He, he was a producer. They used scenes, actually, from The Princess Bride. Remember when the grandfather was reading? Yeah. So, they got, you ain't seen it at all? See what? The Deadpool. The, yeah, the, clean, the second one with uh, the clean version though. Oh no, I didn't see the clean version. Yo, they got a clean version with Deadpool <laughs> kidnaps Fred Savage, puts him in the bedroom, the exact same design as Princess Bride. He got him tied up and he's reading to him the Deadpool two story. What? Dude, this is crazy. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That's I got it on blue. I got it on Blu-ray. It's it's funny because it's clean. It's still some cussing. It's just it's. It's downplayed a lot. Like I was able Man, to let the kids watch that. Watch you it. said clean version. I'm literally thinking like no, whoa, no, like green screen still showing. No, 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 no. It's the it's the movie. There's no cussing. Clean oh, as okay. in clean very as very in, little cussing. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. They changed some of the words. Changed some of the dialogue. Most of the movie is the same, but you got these cut scenes every now and then. It a cut to the bedroom. With him reading the story, oh boy, interrupting him. Oh, okay, wait. Oh my God, I'm, I just put wait you on to something, man. We that going down. Sound familiar though. Yeah. It sound familiar. All right, yeah, we yeah, yeah. Go down it, but it sound familiar. We, we see, see. Now you, hey. now you making sense. That's all. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. So, <laughs> so actually, it would be three. I should just Deadpool two, my most watched, one of my most watched movies as well. And I go back and forth between the versions because they are slightly different. All right, so that's my number eight, man. My number seven, I'm gonna jump in, man. The Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Um, again, I'm kind of struggling with part two. I've, I've seen part two <sighs> at the time of this list. I, I wrote this list and I, uh, a week or two ago, I just stuck with it into the spider verse, Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So mine is suicide squad. The James Gunn one for the, the first one. Will Smith. Damn. That's surprising. But Will is your boy though. Not well. People used to say he looks like Will Smith. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> With that movie, man, I just like the way it was put together, and I, I mm. and I, I don't know, man. I, I could just, I felt like it was a dope movie. It was it dope. Was, it was bad guys out doing stuff, but it, it was wasn't dope. necessarily it was dope. they was doing good stuff. They were just doing stuff. Right, right, right. You know, and I thought the characters was pretty. Did good you see too. the cartoon or read the comic book before? Nah. So the so the whole concept, the whole was, concept was new for you. Was new for me. Yeah, that was dope, man. Yeah. And it literally made Harley Quinn a star. I'm not gonna lie, I like that version of the Joker too. Y'all, the Joker was. I know, I know. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I, I like that version. You know what? There's a cut. There's a director's cut. Mm-hmm. I didn't like Joker in the movie. Yeah. The trailer was dope. And I keep reading there was so much Joker footage. And I feel like, well, even the director complained. Because when Mm -hmm. Zack Snyder was able to release his uncut version, that director, I think David Ayers, uh, came out asking for for one. And I guess Mm -hmm. Warner Brothers was like, nah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, that's a decent one, man. What do you think about the Suicide Squad 2? Man, you know what? I liked it, but... Mm -hmm. I, it wouldn't make it on my list. I, See, I mean, I just, it ain't on my list. No, yeah, no, 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 no. I agree. It, I mean, I didn't think it was bad. I just don't. It ain't something I'm like, oh, let yeah, me yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it ain't now, I was just ain't. seeing what the comparison yeah. is, what you like in one, because I like Suicide Squad too, but I like I like I, James Gunn, man. I like so, them both, but you know. Uh, I'll try to look and see. What's uh, what your, your number seven? My number seven is the first Batman. The first Batman, 89? Mm hmm. That's, that's, that's a decent one, man. I know. That's a decent one, yo. <laughs> Uh, Michael Keaton, it, to me, what started this whole thing? Yeah, right. Because Superman didn't catch. Superman was the first yeah. big superhero movie, but it wasn't like a string of superhero movies came after it. Oh, it nah. was Batman that was like, "Yo, there's some, there's some money in this joint right here." And I think the only real connection to any villain, you know, really, I think we got Lex Luthor a couple times. Yeah, in the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, right. And you know, um, then we had <laughs> we had we had. Uh, uh, 
General Zod. And yeah, we did have his Zod. crew. We had Zod. You yep, know, yep. so it, it was a decent series. I mean, I, I would go, yeah. you know, the yeah, fifth yeah, guy, yeah. the son dude, whoever yeah. the heck he was. I mean, that was kind of right, started right. getting a little wild at that point. Right. All right. Number six. My number six is The Dark Knight. Christian Bell, second movie out of the series. Super dope to me, man. Mostly because of Joker. <laughs> Funny, we're talking about Joker. <laughs> Yo, Joker was just ill. And and a lot of people were dissing him. I don't know if you caught yeah. wind of that. You know, oh, they yeah. people did not want him to be the Joker after Broke Back Mountain. And uh and he was doing team movies before that. Mm. So people were just doubting this dude's skills and Dude, he came in and crushed it and changed the game. Yeah, and, and I just think it was an interesting take on it. it interesting. You know, and it remind me, I don't know if you and I had talked about it. I'm, I bet you we have, man. This felt like a superhero version of Heat. Like it was the same intensity that you get it, yeah. from Heat, yeah. you know? Yeah. The same seriousness, mm-hmm. too. You know what I'm saying? So, man, dope, man. Uh, Christian Bell fixed his Batman voice. I ain't like his Batman voice and begins. I hated it. I hate it. Mm-hmm. I'm, it wasn't good. Yeah. He fixed it a little bit. I think he just made it to where he was just interrogating people. He used it in the second one. Mm. Dark Knight, super dope. Yeah. All right. So mine is uh the ri- the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Oh yeah, man. That Which came is out when I was a comic kid. book. That's probably like that was just one of the movies that I would always watch. Yeah, man. You know what? It didn't make my list. If I had thought about it, that's one of those things that slipped your mind that it was mm-hmm. a comic book. And and not only that, it, and it's crazy you should name that movie because the movie was so much like the comic book. Because yeah. remember, we had the cartoon. Mm-hmm. The only thing the movie really took from the cartoon yeah. was the different colored headbands. Yeah. P- probably some elements. I'm not sure if all the characters, how prominent the characters were in the yeah. comic book. But except for the color is like the way the because yeah. everything else the brown yeah. the way the suit looks man how raw it looked mm-hmm. right out of the comic book yo and we had the original series so we mm. actually witnessed the turtles in their own personalities now mm. you probably was in comic books at that time but I didn't, right right i didn't read up on I right didn't right find out there was a comic until, until later i was yeah. a kid watching teenage that, that was our stuff dude that happens a lot yeah. man that happens a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's because it's what makes it popular. What's the truth? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yep. It's, it's for the the reality for the world is this was the first thing that cartoon. Yep. But yo, but Ninja Turtles is dope, man. It's talking about the uh, the Metro, the Golden Harvest, I think. Mm-hmm. Whatever the the team that made it were the team that were making the martial arts movies in the 80s, 90s, yeah. early 90s. Mm-hmm. So that when you look back at it, you can see the Asian influence. Yeah, in that movie, oh, you know yeah. what I mean. Even the yeah. film, even the way it yeah. looks, really. Oh, yeah. But and yep. come on, man, the rooftop scene. Oh, fight man, scene at you know the, the rooftop end, scene was all, all on point, yo. Shredder, shredder, bro. As soon as you seen them nunchucks hit, they made God. sure you saw the nunchucks Yeah, hit. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> Super dope, man. All right, what number was that? Uh, I think that was one, two, three, four, five, six. And that was my number seven from the bottom. That was your number seven? From the bottom. I counted from the bottom. So let me go back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, so we on number four. Number four. You on number four. I'm on number yeah, five. You on number four. No, no, no. Because I ain't read my number five. My number five. Because you might have went back to back mm. one time. You might have miscounted. My number five is Avengers Endgame. Mm. Dude, I struggled with this one, man. I bet. If, if Infinity War ain't on your list. Endgame Infinity War ain't on your list. They were on my list. But I took them off. See, in theory, what I thought was going to happen, I thought somebody was, that he was going to say Infinity War. Or in game, and I was gonna say the opposite. You see how I done tricked, got my little backup plan, like how I was able to slip Deadpool 2 in. But, uh, dude, and I've got on my original list, I got Infinity War in game. Mm. I went oh, with in game. game before Infinity War. I did. I did. Well, the, the list wasn't done in order. Oh, okay. I just wrote down okay. and, then I, and then I numbered them. Yeah. But, uh, Infinity War was Thanos. Yeah. Thanos was super dope, yep. man. He's one of the dopest yep. bad guys, villains. Yep. And Infinity War was his movie. Yep. But Endgame got a little bit of Thanos. Yeah. A younger Thanos at that. Yep. We got a more yep. <laughs> crazy, more direct Thanos. Mm-hmm. You probably and got the raw Thanos. The, the raw one exactly. That you probably get exactly. Really exactly. I think he was called the Mad King or something. He was yeah. called something in the comic book too. Mm-hmm. But uh, but uh, the heart, yo. The snap at the end, yeah. the death scenes. Oh yeah. Uh everybody coming back, man. I remember yeah. getting goosebumps, man. Black Panther coming back, yeah. Spider-Man coming through. Oh yeah. That yeah. ending is what did it for me. That you know was, what I'm saying? I ain't gonna now that ending, when I saw that, man, 
Mm. Oh my gosh, when them portals was opening, yeah, and they Ooh, all came it was back. Quiet too. Ooh, man, man. But what was else was a dope scene? Mm. Which one? Captain America and the hammer. Oh yeah, the whole. Oh my lord, when he <laughs> broke the yeah, shield and all that too. Oh man, yeah. and it was like they were building dope. up for it. Yeah. That's one of the things people will say, yo, they've been building up for it. When you see it, yeah, but you was never really sure. Yeah. He was going to pick up that yep. hammer. It was exactly. just like, yo, he kind of showed that he, exactly. he probably can. Man, dope. Yep. Got the action figure down. I don't know if you saw it downstairs. I got the action figure, the one six scale with him holding that hammer oh, and the no, shield, too, with the broken oh, shield. Okay, yeah, that's what's up. Dope, dope. Yeah. All right, bet. We at number four. Or we, or my, you were number four. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we we, we caught up. Four. Yeah. You did? Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, so, damn, how am I behind? I don't Oh, that's weird. How many you I got? Man, catch your list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten. All right. I lost out. Maybe I did read ahead. I'm not for sure. I guess we'll see. Well, then I'll go again. That was number four? So, yeah, because I didn't skip any. Okay. Yeah, my because I already said Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you on your number four? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, number four on the list for me is Superman 1977, the very first Superman, Christopher Reeves. Mm. First superhero movie. Dad took me to the movie theater to check it out before I can even remember it. I remember seeing it on TV and not remembering the whole thing. I think mm. people forget when we were young, oh, yeah. movies didn't come out on VHS. In fact, in my Batman retro look, there was actually a section where we talked about the VHS. That was the mm. first time they had closed the window. Yeah. Um, for release. Like it came out in June. It was on VHS by November. Mm. Before that, man, it felt like it would be years. Oh, yeah. Especially in a kid's mind, Forever, right? man. Yeah, yeah. So you couldn't wait to Blockbuster came. Couldn't you find wait. When Blockbuster got there. We was like, man, right, right. there. There they are. And yeah. I don't know if everything came out on tape. Probably I remember did. Golden Child. Mm-hmm. I, man, I didn't get Golden Child until years later. And then when they went to DVD, yeah. it didn't come out on DVD until... Man, man so... Um, so Superman, one of those joints, man, where it was just just iconic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Christopher Reed did his thing. You have mm-hmm. phenomenal actors. Kind of let us know what a superhero should be. The grand yeah. music. John Williams did the music. It also taught us, you know, how these things can change over time mm-hmm. as well. Because yeah. we got two solid ones. As a fan, I like all of them. I find enjoyment in all of them. Mm-hmm. Richard Pryor was in part three. But I would be lying if I didn't tell you that even as a child, I noticed that the quality Oh, yeah. Degraded three four was yeah. crazy. Like yeah. it had to cut out Superman. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, yep. Superman yep. number four. You number three for me is The Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight Rises, dude. The dope film. Yeah. Well, what, what stood out to you the most? Bang, bang, yo. Dude, when I saw that character, you know I went cosplay on that too. Yeah, I had to man. Everything about that character was just. <laughs> You it know was what? It's like he was so like just. I should have predicted that. He was the first one that I seen that had the mask, the mask and the jacket. Did you cut your hair? I had my hair shaved. He had his hair well, shaved. I was already rocking it. Low. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, already yeah. cutting low and. Yep. Well, the Set jacket to me was the key with your costume. Mm-hmm. Like I, that was the first time I had seen yep. nobody was putting that kind of money into because nah. even a cheap jacket like that yeah. is still going to be hundred, two hundred dollars, oh, yeah. right? So, yeah, yeah. So I was trying to get the voice down and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. Yeah, that fits you, man. He already walks around like Bane, yeah. like Bane man. <laughs> Bullying people, yo. You be wanting to rip his mask off his face. <laughs> Doesn't matter who y'all. What Listen, matters is our plan. That's it. Which was the only part of the movie, man. I know uh, Reality Man Reels has an issue with the end when the mask got ripped off. He felt like it turned Bane into a punk. And... <laughs> By then, for me, the movie was already at three hours. So it was yeah. like, we, we got to kind of end it. Yeah, but. yeah. I, I, I mean, look, it's you, you facing somebody, mm. and it's almost like you you tried to bring Batman back to where he was a right a, a, a compatible or a, a somebody you could go against. Right, right, right. He threw him in the hole. He came back out. And guess what? Now you're a challenge for me. Well, which is part of my beef, too, somehow. Because that whole challenge of getting out of the hole and becoming Batman again only equated him to knocking that thing off his mask. <laughs> he did put up a little fight. It was good, though. What? You know you know what, what it is? I said Dark Knight was my number six. Mm-hmm. The whole trilogy. That's one of those movies oh, yeah. that it's like the trilogy makes it. Oh, yeah. It, which, uh, which brings me to, what number are we on? I'm, I'm seeing the discrepancy. I'm about to go to number two. Okay. There's a discrepancy on my sure, list. I got two number three. threes, so I wonder which number three I did first and wrong. I'm going to go with it. So obviously this is my number two, 
which is Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which fits the same thing as I said with, with The Dark Knight. All three of those movies are dope. It's just which one is the key. Yeah. This one, the last movie made the first two phenomenal. The first one was a surprise. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I have to tell myself the first one I love, but it was because I had never seen nothing like that. I went in there with low expectations. I am a comic book head who don't know a lot about that comic book. I just didn't. You know what I'm saying? And the trailers didn't motivate me because usually you go back and do research and let me grab a couple of Mm -hmm. graphic novels. Like, eh, we'll just walk in. Dude, first 10 minutes of that movie. You know, that changed up for me when you explain mm. about how they take different parts from different comics. Oh, I yeah. kind of stopped looking for the comics after that. That's true. I was like, I'm just going to watch the movie and then go you back can, and try to figure you it You can out. get your lesson. I'm going to tell you, Marvel does a good job at laying it. If you were to say what happened in the movie, mm-hmm. it'll line up with the comic book, even okay. if it's different. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's almost like it's so... Yeah, yeah, so the Thanos. Mm-hmm. Hey, this has got this big purple monster looking for mm-hmm. these stones and this. When you just say what the movie's about, yeah. well, that's what the comic book is about. It's yep. just some of the details are different. But uh, Guardians of the Th- Galaxy 3 specifically, I think you said you haven't seen it. No, right? I haven't seen 3. So, so I ain't going to spoil it uh, too much just to say that it had a lot of heart. You know, okay. Rocket, Rocket Raccoon was the star of the movie. A lot happened with him. They kind of showed his history. Mm, Man, almost like a little origin story. Heartfelt. And we've seen pieces of it mm. sprinkled in, in the first one. Yeah. Man, this one just a lot of heart. Everything that the other ones was, the heart in this was like. Well, make you, yeah. well, why you think they just fo- why you think they focused on him specifically? You know what? I can't tell you without spoiling it. Oh, I- okay. I'll say there was things in the first one that put him out there. Yeah, like nothing tells yeah. us that that Star Lord is the main character except I-, I take that back. It was his history. The yeah. fact that they showed him on Earth, yeah, made it his movie. Mm-hmm. But really, it's an ensemble cast because yeah. we got Gamora's story. Yeah. Oh, they showed a lot of Drax in this one too. They okay. gave a little bit of his. Man, I can't explain it. You got to see. It. I know. This I is one of them saying. ones. Yeah. They give a lot of history. Yeah. To all the other characters. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. They all become so lovable. But I remember them dropping mm. little nuggets about exactly. Exactly. About they did. Him. They did. Or he would yeah, say yeah, yeah, things yeah. like, "I'm the only." What do you say? I'm the only me of me. I'm the only yes. one of me or something yep, like yep. that. Yeah, yeah. Dude, and this movie is, yo, yeah. this oh, movie is, is, is on that. raccoon, though? Yeah, he don't, yeah, he he don't he know what a like, raccoon is. He's, he's like, like, what is, what is that? Yeah. He was like, what, what? Oh, my Lord, yo. You a prime man. If that bad boy was in the movie theater, we would go to the movie theater right man. after this. <laughs> I think it's already out, out of the theater. <laughs> But anyway, all right. Yeah, yeah. That was right, what, my, so number my number three. That was my number two. Yeah, what's your number two? All right, my number two is actually Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. The first one. Yo, the music, yeah, man. man. The soundtrack, the whole... Yeah. I didn't know nothing about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I yeah. saw it, and I said, let me go see the comic. I didn't go read the comic. I just right. went, look. Right. I said, oh, okay. So then I went to the theater to watch it, because I said, okay, it's probably going to be some change up in there. But man... I could watch that whole movie. Right. And not even get bored, not get man, I could run that movie like Yeah, dude. I have no it's idea a fun what it movie. is about it. It's just it's, it's fun, just, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it's a not fun like movie. overpowering with like you ain't got like a Superman or somebody that's right. just overly right, right, it's like right. All of us got these skills and we probably need each other right, to get right, through this, right? Right, right. And so. you think about it, man, it's it's we were primed for it. Movies like Star Wars. Yeah. Had it. It, yep. and, and this felt like a best of the best. Yeah. So you could feel Star Wars in it, but it just felt like they took the best of it. They mm-hmm. took the best of the superhero genres. Yeah. There's a little bit of mm-hmm. that element, but it didn't. But you know what? Then again, the fact that it didn't feel like a superhero movie made it good, too. Because <laughs> honestly, it was like we we are here chilling in space. We can yeah, help, yeah, we yeah, yeah. help people, but, we but you had super powered. Yeah. They got like, you, you said yeah, super yeah. like Drax is, yeah. is. You had the, but it yeah, didn't. But it's not because like they were overly, in that environment. Yeah, exactly. It's not like exactly. overly crazy. Like they're not like the most. Powerful beings agreed, that are just agreed. Running around, you know. Yo, I'm looking at my list. This is hard. I'm a horrible host today <laughs> because I said my number two. I got number three written on here twice. I think I was on number three because mm. I'm counting. I'm gonna. I miss. I didn't say Spider Man No Way Home was my number three, mm. and I didn't say that. So I'm gonna just throw that out there. We ain't even gotta talk about it that deep because I feel bad. We don't skip. But Spider Man No Way Home is up there. It's Spider Man. It, I'm it a Spider Man fan. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I like Spider Man, but you know, it's, yeah, it's good. It's, it's the tri- it's it was good. the trilogy yeah. for me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that movie, particularly. Mm-hmm. You see all three of all three of the movies was an origin story. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of Spider Man three, we got the Spider Man that we know from the comic book. He got yeah. the spider senses. Oh yeah, all the stuff that we yep. hadn't been seeing. Uh, yep. The tragedy of my, uh, instead of Uncle Ben, because mm-hmm. we thought Iron Man was the Uncle Ben. 
Yeah. He might have been a little bit. He was his mentor. Mm -hmm. But then you find out that Aunt May is actually the Uncle Ben. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So that was cool. Yeah. Um, anyway, so number one, my number one, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there first because you're going to probably have more to talk about. Mine was on your list already earlier, and that's uh, 89 Batman. Batman 1989. That's the movie that jump-started everything for me, my love for collecting stuff. Because, um, of course, they had a big push with toys. The movies, the look, man, my drawing, I did artwork. Everything changed when that movie. Like, just mm -hmm. my understanding of visual art changed when that movie came out. Yeah. And, uh, and it's been that way since, man. I was even a Tim Burton fan because of that for years and years until he made a couple of movies I didn't like. I can't even remember them off the top of my head. Yeah. He started getting a little weird. Dark Shadows was mm -hmm. kind of... It's kind of, it's kind of weird, yeah. but uh, but Batman, eighty nine Batman, Michael Keaton, yo. Oh wait, you talking about? <laughs> you said Dark Shadow. I thought you were talking about the other. Show. Nah, well, it was a TV show <laughs> that I watched. Yeah, it was a kid. There's a Dark Shadows TV show. Wait, is that the Vampire Joint? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he did that movie, man, and it was it, it was uh, I couldn't rock with it. <laughs> couldn't rock with it. All right, with that being said, my number one, and I have to go with Black Panther. Black Panther. I and look, I chose Black Panther mostly because I feel like at that time, man, it was like so many black people were able to mm -hmm. like, I feel like for me, it was like I could relate. I could right, right. kind of relate to this. Like, this right. is amazing to see us, you know, out here, and this is... This, you know, this is our guy with right, the whole right. movie, the colors, the way they interacted, the way they talked right. to each other. It was almost like watching, you know, it's like watching somebody have a conversation with their brothers. Right, you know, right, from, right. You know, our experience. And, from, and the first one didn't know, steer away from the cultural, because mm -hmm. I remember feeling that. I mean, it was so much of the movie, you didn't even see Black Panther in the costume. You just saw mm -hmm. the culture, people dancing. Yeah, you got dancing the fight. Yeah, fighting. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they had traditions. Yeah. You know, yeah, when yeah. you see things like that, you're just like, dang, I wish we, you know, we have our culture. Right. But, you know, when you look at that and you go, dang, that's that's where we came from. Right. And I, I was about I to say, man. Most of, I know the movie ain't real, but I know that they took a lot of influence from other tribes and, man. you know, all that. But, you know, before folks start going, hey, it ain't real. But Wakanda. it had Africa stuff in it and it was great. Wakanda was nothing but Atlanta, man. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> all it is, bro. <laughs> he almost did. He was just missing the invisible just planes. Wakanda, and... Wakanda right here, baby. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, man. Nah, dude. Cultural phenomenon. Yeah. You can't, uh, again, man. And, and, and it's weird. That's in the list of my mind. It's almost the opposite. It's so important that I don't watch it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's, an, event. it's an event film. Yeah. So it's like when I watch I it, it's like, okay, thing. it's that time to watch yep. it. And, uh, so it didn't make my list because it's not something that I watch every day. Yeah. But and TV is different now. Oh yeah. If we weren't streaming, it'd be different. Mm -hmm. Anytime that thing pop on TV, I'd probably be. Oh yeah. That's one of the movies. TBS, man. I know you grew up on TBS. Oh yeah. Well, man. man sure. Come on, TBS, yo. I'm in. Oh yeah. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> and I know also too with that man. When we look at it, we got to remember too that movie brought out in a lot of people. Mm. They reached back and looked at Africa and said, "Let me go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm dressing up for this. I'm about to look. Oh yeah. And, and some people might look at it and say, "Oh, they in costume. No. Right. That's, Dude, can you know you what? Imagine America, right, right, right. With people just every, uh, yeah. we knew, and we that was just walking around to with the our, culture. Yeah, 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 man. Don't worry, it'll happen again oh, yeah. when the next Black Panther movie come out. But yeah, and, and of course, it changed. Uh, they ain't gonna go deep into it, but it did change change the landscape of those kind of movies. I feel mm -hmm. like there's been more black creators behind the camera because we can talk about what's in front of the camera, but hairstylists. Mm -hmm. Costume designer, yeah. the director. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like it was so against what Hollywood has been saying for years, which is you know mm -hmm. black movies don't make a lot of money. Yeah, Black Panther when it had made its you know its first billion. Yeah, yeah. Month or two, I think it was what a month, maybe two months, billion dollars. We can do this. Yeah. We'll but anyway, okay. Well, that's our list, man. Our top 10 list. I know I probably got out of order a little bit with mine, uh, but you get the gist of it. I'll probably put, have the numbers and, and, the, and the names on, on the screen so you can see, so you know what's going on. But uh, that was the list. I think it was dope, man. Your list was dope. You definitely named a couple of things I feel like I should have put on my list. I but agree. It's so many movies, man. Of course, oh, yeah. Did y'all catch that joke? Did y'all catch that? Uh, dude, but there's so many of them, man, and, and it's getting better. You know what I mean? It was I was hoping to have put the Flash on here. I wasn't able to put the Flash on. It wasn't, 
It, it, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about that later. But because uh, they were saying that was going to be the best superhero. That's what prompted me to do this list. They said that Flash is going to be the best superhero movie ever. And uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But this is my list, man. It didn't change my list. This is my list. All right. Anyway, again, check my boy out, man. What's your, what's your credentials, man? Jack Sione. You can find me on Instagram. Bet. I'm the Master Wiz. Same thing. Check me at, at Master Wiz. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you got a comment, please leave a comment. As always, make sure you subscribe. Love you guys to death, and I'll check you out next time, all right? Peace. Peace.